Well, the new ARQ course of fire, um, it promotes a combat mindset and instills the mission of the Marine Corps Rifle Squad, which is to locate, close with, and destroy the enemy by fire and maneuver. Um, the philosophy, it's pretty much written in the course of fire itself, uh, with Marines starting at the 500 yard lines, engaging targets, and ultimately concluding at the 25 yard line uh, with different engagement techniques. You start out from far and go near, so you're going to start at the 500. You are going to shoot eight iterations of five rounds, so that's going to total out to 40 rounds. You're going to shoot this in the prone. You can use support via a pack, uh, your mag, a bipod, whatever you want as long as it's issued to you. Uh, and then from there, you'll move up to the 300 yard line. You can also, again, go on the, the prone and use support as well. Uh, this time, you're going to be shooting controlled pairs and you're also gonna do this eight times for a total of 16 rounds. Uh, after that, you move up to the 200 yard line. It's a pretty similar concept, except the only things that change are you're gonna be shooting off of barricades, so there's no more prone. And then you'll also be shooting moving targets, which are moving um, much quicker than the, the moving targets we currently know. Uh, the 100 is the same thing, movers, and you're uh, shooting off of barricades. Now, when you move up to the 25, things kind of change a little bit. Um, you start out with six destroy headshots. So each headshot is its own destroy. Um, and then once you finish with that, you're gonna move to your drills portion, which is gonna be four failure to stops, four box drills, and then two failure to stops on the move. I actually look forward to the whole entire course of fire. It's a lot more exciting. Um, it's a lot more fun, and I think the Marines are leaving here a lot better trained and ready for those deployments that they're going to be going on. This is definitely going to push Marines to get more comfortable with their gear and find out what positions work for them and how it'll actually uh, translate to a real life situation.